Today we're going to be installing the Heeltech Servo Eliminator. Not only is this going to save weight, but since we have the SC Project pipe on here, it's completely unnecessary. As you can see, the wires are already all disconnected already. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the fairings off and we are going to get to the servo, which is just sitting right back here on this RSV4. Now, once we get the fairings off, we'll pull that off. So we're gonna start off by pulling off these couple screws. They, they are four millimeter. Got this one right here. We have a couple clips in the front. So we're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And these are right here. These clips are pretty simple. You just put a flathead in here and pry out the inside and then they should pull right out. I believe there's also one more right here. So that one pops out. And I think there's one more up here next to the fork. So you can't really see it in the camera angle, but there is one all the way up on the top of the fairing, right right behind about here next to, the, to your right fork. So we have three clips total on the inside that need to be removed. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just jiggle a little bit and see where we're still attached. It looks like what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna pull this one down here. And then we'll pull one more right here. And this should just snap apart. So we've also got one more here under the front. This one's gonna be a Phillips head screw. So yeah, this one is just right under here. So that's the Phillips head screw right there. So we've got one all the way up here at the top underneath the fairing. And this one is going to be a three millimeter Allen head. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the lift down just a little bit so we can get to some of these inner dash fairings. Um, basically, we've got a couple more over here that are still holding this, this side fairing on. So we've got one right here. We have another one right here under the front, front brake lever. And there's also one more back here, which is going to be a Torx bit. So we'll take these two out first and then we'll come back to the, the last one. So we're just using a hand tool here. It's a little bit tight to get into there. You drop that screw, you will never find it. No. <laughs> just a small little screw. We're gonna put this with the rest of them. This one right here. This is a T20 for the bolt right in here. I've already somewhat loosened it up. Yeah, I think this thing is gonna come right off now. There's actually one more screw holding it. Oh, there is, okay. Behind here. Use one hand to kind of hold the fairing so we don't drop it. So we've got one more down here that holds the bottom in. It's underneath kind of the belly pan right here. So we're just gonna pull this one out. That will release your fairing. Uh, so this all came off in one piece. So just don't forget the screw down here under the belly pan. And then your one screw that's tucked underneath this this little plastic cover here for the front. So those are the two hidden ones. Everything else is pretty out in the open. Um, and now we can see our exhaust servo right here. So we're gonna go and we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna change out the connector for the heel tech. Basically, we just have one plug down here on the bottom side of the servo. And there's just a little tab in here. We're just gonna push this in and the wire should just pop right out. And the servo eliminator, this is just gonna snap right in. It only goes in there one way. So that's it. So now it's installed. We've already tested this to make sure no check engine lights or anything are going off. We're good to go to pull the servo out. And we're gonna feed through the cables right here out of the bike. So to remove this, we're gonna be pulling out this five millimeter hex bolt and this 13 millimeter stud. Don't lose this because this is how your fairing attaches. Start with the 13 millimeter and we'll back that out. And then we're gonna switch to the five millimeter here and we're gonna pull that out. So now that this is removed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna release this cable. They give you a couple zip ties in the pack to, to put these together. So to release this connector, there's a little clip down here. We're gonna use a pick to push it over and then pull it off. A little bit better of a view. This is the clip right here. So you just push this to the side and then it slides up. We're also gonna do the same with this clip right here, which this one is just a little different. It's just got this little tab right here that we're gonna push over. There we go, so now that's off. So now we've got our connectors disconnected. The last thing that's left is just the wires to pull through. We had these zip tied back to the brake line here. You may just be taking them off when you're changing your exhaust. So these might not be zip tied, but we do have them zip tied. 
So from there, we should be able to just feed these out without having to take anything else off, hopefully. Underneath the frame right here, there's a little clip and you also have another one up here. And this one actually has a zip tie on it. It's kind of hard, but you can see just the bottom of the zip tie right there, where sort of near where, near where the end of my finger is at. We're gonna cut that zip tie for right here. I used a screwdriver, and I stuck it up here and pried the cables out of the clip. The clip seems to be attached to the frame inside of there. So we're gonna cut this zip tie right here and hopefully that will release the cables. And then we're gonna weigh it and see how much weight we're saving on that. Just snip this zip tie off. So now that we've got the clip disconnected here, basically we can just pull them out. So it wasn't easy to get these cables out, but you definitely do not need to remove the tank and any other fairings to get it out. If you're just a little creative with a flathead and some snips, it should be easy to get out. So here is our exhaust servo. We're gonna see how much weight this will shave off the bike and save you a quarter of a second of uh, lap time. So let's get this weighed. 24.5, so if we do pounds, wow, 1.5 pounds. 1.5 pounds, that's, that's very impressive. Decent amount, for sure. A couple of zip ties came in the pack from Heel Tech. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip tie these wires that are kind of just hanging around here. We don't wanna just bundle these up and just zip tie them together. We're gonna try to zip tie them to something that's static on the bike, something that's not moving. So I think for the servo, we're gonna use our own, just one zip tie for just the servo itself and go to this wire harness that it's attached to. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna wrap our zip tie right around the back. All right, so now that we've got our eliminator zip tied right here, nice and neat, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's attached to the wire harness. Um, we're gonna just take these extra connectors that were attached and we're gonna find a place for them. So we're gonna zip tie these two connectors together and then we'll just zip tie the wires to something else here. Okay, so now we've got these two pieces zip tied together. We're probably gonna either do it to, which looks like the, the clutch cable, or we could do it to the wires down there. It doesn't really matter as long as it stays from moving. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this and we are gonna actually zip tie it um, we're gonna zip tie it up to the clutch cable, but we did get one more, they gave us two. We're gonna use three, and we're gonna put it around the clutch cable here, and we're gonna just bring it in. And you see, I kind of tuck these two little wires in right here. So try to get those into your little bundle and just bring it in nice and tight to the, to the clutch cable. So now everything's pretty secure. I don't see anything coming off. And we're gonna go ahead and snip off the end of this zip tie also. And there you have it. We've got that all installed right there. Overall, not too bad of a job. Really, if you're doing it pretty quick, probably only take you about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes at the most. Um, just make sure you get everything zip tied nice and tight. So that way they're not flopping around in the wind and you don't get it hitting your exhaust and melting or anything like that.